Hi guys, what's up? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is July 10th, 2020. In today's video, I'm going to design a simple experiment to see whether I can help keep my fresh cut hydrangea flowers last longer. Stay tuned. As you can see here, I have a bunch of uh, hydrangea flower cuttings. So I'm going to show you how I prepare hydrangea flower cuttings. Take a flower cutting. I'm going to remove all the lower leaves. I just keep it this uh, very small leaves. And also I'm going to use a sharp blade to cut the bottom stem. Make two angle cut, just like this. Okay, I'm going to do the rest of all the hydrangea flower cuttings. Hi guys, I already finished the preparation of hydrangea flower cuttings. As you can see here, all the hydrangea flower cuttings are divided into two groups. In each group, you can find four flower heads. Actually, most of the flowers are greenish. They are just beginning to bloom. And uh, there's uh, one flower head in each group. They're pink. Hi guys, as you can see here, I put two cups in front of my hydrangea flower cuttings. On the left side, that cup labeled with water. On the right side, the cup labeled with 0.2% monopotassium phosphorus. I'm going to grab the left side four hydrangea flower cuttings and stick into the water. And I'm going to grab the right side four hydrogen cuttings into the right cup. Hi guys, this is my experiment set up as you can see here. Actually, the idea of this experiment, I just want to know whether monopotassium phosphorus can help keep my hydrangea flowers last longer. As you know, monopotassium phosphorus is chemical. Meanwhile, it is also very useful fertilizers which contains 0% nitrogen, but it contains 52% phosphorus and 34% potassium. All these chemicals, which is very, very helpful to support flowers and blooms. Monopotassium phosphorus can help plants produce big, more and bright color flowers. So that's the I designed this experiment. Anyway, so I'm going to check weekly to see whether the flowers soaked in the monopotassium phosphorus can help these flowers keep last longer. Okay, stay tuned. Hi guys. Today is July 24th, 2020. It has been two weeks after I set up this experiment. There is two cups on the table. On the left side is water cup, 
on the right side is a mono potassium phosphorus cup. Its concentration is 0.2%. As you can see here, on the left side, all the flowers kind of still keep fresh. A little bit wilted. But on the right side, most of the flowers, a lot of flowers, already turn brown color. Let me turn around each cup, then you can see what's the difference. I turn water cup. You can see most of the flowers still kind of fresh a little bit turn brown so this is a water cup let me turn around mono potassium phosphorus cup as you can see here a lot of flowers already turned brown color so as you know this experiment I set up is just want to know whether 0.2 percent mono potassium phosphorus whether it can help keep fresh cut flowers can keep longer actually it cannot compared with some other experiments I once treated with 0.2 percent monopotassium phosphorus kind of this concert, low concentration monopotassium phosphorus is toxic to some cuttings let's check whether this concentration is harmful to the stems. This is water stem. Still keep green. Let's check. Zero point two percent monopotassium phosphorus. This stem a little bit turn light brown. All others kind of still keep green. Let's compare. Actually you cannot see big difference and unless this stem a little bit of light brown or others it's kind of exact same 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 no difference but for flowers you can see big difference and it's interesting as you might know, 0.2% monopotassium phosphorus is very safe for foliar spray. Actually, I use a lot for my blooming and fruiting plants, such as a strawberry, tomato, peppers, and citrus. I don't have any problem or issues with that foliar spray using 0.2% monopotassium phosphorus. So the conclusion is 0.2% monopotassium phosphorus is safe for foliar spray for those plants with established roots system. But if you want to treat fresh cut flowers, might be harmful or toxic to the flowers. But compared with water, it might be not harmful to the stems okay 
Thanks for watching. See you next time.